During the 1970s, the official term to of address for an Air Force E-9 became chief. Many years have passed since the first chief was promoted, and attaining the rank of Chief Master Sergeant is still the pinnacle of an enlisted career. All that obtained it pledged to serve with the same dignity and high standards the first chiefs and all since then have done. Today, the 173rd is proud to have Senior Master Sergeant James Dreyer ready to become part of this noble and historic legacy as the 279th Oregon Air National Guard Chief Master Sergeant. Senior Master Sergeant Dreyer, front and center. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Public order. Attention orders. Special order AA-031. Senior Master Sergeant James B. Dreyer, 173rd Main Squadron, Kings and Field, Klamath Falls, Oregon, is promoted in the Orang and as a reserve of the Air Force to the grade of Chief Master Sergeant E-9, effective 1 February 2023, with a date of rank 1 February 2023. By the order of the Governor, signed Michael Lee Stencil, Major General, the Adjutant General. Well, Chief Dreyer Chief Dreyer's family, please join us on stage. Thank you so much for being here. 
being here, particularly on a Friday afternoon when you all could be home with your, fam with your own families. It's such an honor and privilege to be to me that you would all be here for, with this celebration with me. I thank you for that. Thank you, General Pringmore, for taking the time out of your busy schedule to be here today. It means a great deal to me and my family. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Gibson, for agreeing to MC this ceremony. Thank you, Chief Norgren and Chief Warren, for organizing this for me and for all of us here today. Thank you for all the other chiefs here on the stage with, with me. I appreciate your support up here. You know, there's a great amount of time and effort behind the scenes to make something like this happen. So I greatly appreciate it and I thank you. Also, thank you, Tech Sergeant Patterson, for another wonderful experience hearing you sing the national anthem and to Chaplain Croker for your heartfelt invocation. I didn't realize it, but throughout my entire career, I believe God destined me to become a chief. In fact, it wasn't until I became one is when I realized that. When I was preparing to say what I was going to say here, I started looking at all the things and blessings in my life. How could I not become one? Because I have a great family. I was born a traditional, functional American family. I have a wonderful mother and father who loved us kids, who raised us to work hard, value things that are important, to value family, and to always respect others. Mom and Dad, I love you, and I'm so glad that you can both be here with me today. And it's, it's as much about you as about me. I have wonderful children. I have a daughter that is now a junior in college and has excelled in every regard. My daughter Lena is the most disciplined and determined person I have ever met. And my son Jake is more, has more talent and personality in his little finger than I could ever have in my entire life. When he figures out what he's going to do, watch out because you'll read about that kid. And of course my wife. You know, my wife gave up a lot to be a mom and a wife to include a military career of her own. She was an active duty airman for six years and a guardsman for another four years and hung it all up so she could focus more on taking care of us. Honey, I'm standing here today because of the sacrifices you made and I love you. I hope you accept these flowers as a symbol of my recognition of how much you've done for me and the family. So I could be standing up here today. I love you. I've been fortunate enough to cross paths with great people throughout my career. Specifically, I had a chance to watch great senior NCOs, chiefs, officers, and commanders that really understand leadership and what it means to bear responsibility of leading many airmen to influence work ethic, enforcing the Air Force Corps values, take care of airmen they lead, and how to guide their airmen on paths to success. These people continually inspire me to always strive and do better every single day. Names that come to mind are Chief McKenzie, who was always there and took time to guide me. K.J. Abbott and Tiny Coley, who took a chance and hired me into their field shop back in 2009. Mike Scott, who allowed me to supervise multiple sections for him in the engine shop for a few years. Chief Mackey, who was both my boss and mentor for many years. Chief Norgren, Chief Lumberg, Chief Rainbow, Captain Wagner, and so many others who are and were my mentors for such a long time. And of course, Colonel Boma and Colonel Gudinski would tirelessly led us, or tirelessly lead us as a whole every day here at Kingsley Field. I'm fortunate enough to have a boss who trusts me with this assignment because there are a lot of capable people who could be standing here today doing this job as a CMF chief. But I was blessed enough to be selected for this responsibility. I'm truly thankful for that. Colonel Wolfram is a tireless advocate for airmen and is very highly regarded and respected by everyone who serves with and for him. Because of that, sir, we all know you care, and for that, I'm eternally grateful. I need to say thank you to my leadership team here. Darren Bennett, Rich Lumberg, Justin Cunningham, Dan Conley, Tim Brady, Pete Uba, Joe McKenzie Jr., Scott Sunset, Chris Wilmot, and last but not least, Chris Schock, who re just recently retired. I love the beard, Chris. <clears throat> These guys are really the ones that, kept, that keep the component maintenance flight going. I get the credit for it, but it's them that keep the machine moving forward every day, and they do a marvelous job. We as a team get better every day, and that's our commitment to continually do, to com continually improve. Now, I know that this ceremony is about me and about my moment, but we need to remember it's also about you all here today and about representing all the great people that work here at the 173rd Fighter Wing as a whole. That's a lot of people and airmen that count on us every single day. We as leaders are responsible for everything from their spiritual wellness 
to helping them find their purpose and direction in life. We are responsible for making sure they have sound relationships and safe working environments. <clears throat> we are responsible for making sure they have solid family structure, physical fitness, and health, and making sure their finances are in order. Because that's what readiness means to us. Because they made the sacrifice and said we will do the mission of our nation and state, even if it means laying down our lives, if we have to. They're the ones that said, if my nation or state needs me, I will be the one to go. And for that, we owe them the very best we can deliver. I understand that that's my job, and I will come to work every day with that in my mind. So you can understand why I say I was destined to become a chief. I've been blessed in so many ways, and with so many things that couldn't possibly fail. I have a great family, great friends, and all of you here today. So, for that, I'm able to stand here today and say I'm Chief Master Sergeant James Dyer. Thank you all so much. Thank <laughs> you.